previously we activated our plugin smush and in this lecture we will use smush smush actually helps us optimize our images click on it it's on the left side down and as you can see there are a few images 16.2 documentation uh, bug smush we will smush it so let's see the few options automatic compression on metadata on well the most important thing image resizing you may see 2048 but you have to optimize it on 1024 on both sides and do not forget to click update settings now let's bug smush now and it will take some time as it is not premium version you can do 50 images at a time and you would have to click on resume after every 50 images smushed well now it says 17.5 mb total savings and it's done now in the next directory smush usually i don't do it but you can do it it's nothing uh, it does not harm your website whatever your documents you want to uh, smush same is the case with this as this is not premium version you will have to do it 50 at a time it takes time nothing to worry because it's obviously lots of data so as I said this is not paid version we have to resume every 50 images as you can see the free version of smush allows you to compress 50 images at a time so we have to click resume and with wait it so that they could be done as soon as possible as mentioned earlier this is not paid version this is the free version of smush which allows you to compress 50 images at a time so we have to click resume to resume the operations and so that our directory could be smushed so let's wait if it takes time nothing to worry about let it uh, give it some time and let it do it work and it is done uh, i have saved almost 18.2 mb so in the next is integration well uh, if you are using gutenberg support or wp bakery uh, you can use this and this is a obviously pro version and next is lazy loading which is very important lazy loading means whenever you open a website your website collects all the images and it takes obviously it takes loads of data so what lazy loads does is when a user goes to a specific area it shows that image only so you have to select media type and output locations i've selected all of them so display and animation you can uh, play with it but i usually recommend none because because fade in a spinner or placeholder takes uh, time to load and include or exclude all of this and enable material reloading yes you have to click lazy loading and click update settings you have to do update settings because you have to keep your settings so once done well next is cdn cdn is content delivery network we will discuss cdn later in this course and it is not available in smush right now because it is in premium version next is tools i usually uh, take in inactive this uh, image resize detection it tells it takes your images and it tells you the size of the uh, image which image size is better and which not and in the last we have settings enable high contrast this is dark mode and light mode so i keep it inactive usage tracking i keep it off because it tracks your usage so you better do it to restore images well uh, when you uninstall you want to keep the settings or you want to delete the settings as well so i usually keep the settings and save it
so it is saying we have 19 images that needs to be smushed again so let's smush them nothing to worry if it takes time because obviously the images are loaded so this take time to smush so we are done smushing we have done all the smushing in the next lecture we will set up our new plugin which is hummingbird so let's activate it See you in the next lecture.